Well, this is where I left you on the last video. We're just coming off the Ashby de la Zouche Canal and back onto the Coventry Canal. And we're going to head north here, turning right, and we're going to head up towards Tamworth. First of all, of course, before we reach Tamworth, we'll have the Atherston flight to do. The 11 locks going down there before we get to Tamworth. We're not going to go as far as Tamworth in this video. We're going to end this video at the bottom of the Atherston lights. So we're now back on the Coventry Canal. I left the Coventry Canal exactly two weeks ago and went on to the Ashby. So I've just spent the last two weeks on the Ashby Canal and now it's time to go elsewhere and we're heading north on the Coventry and we're now going to run to the end of the Coventry Canal at Fradley Junction. Let's get going. I'm pulling you along. <laughs> <laughs> the man in the canoe from the Ashby was following me. Well, after I came out after having lunch I thought it was uh, chilly out here, it was quite windy over there and I put my hoodie on, it's not a hoodie but uh, I put my fleece shirt on and now, oh, I had to come off, warm again, what a beautiful glorious day again and they give more of this to come over the next few days. Just can't beat it, can you? Just look at the field of oil seed ray. Beautiful, vibrant yellow colour. That's highlighter yellow, isn't it? In nature. Well, here's our first bridge on the Coventry Canal after leaving Ashby de la Zouche Canal and this is bridge 16 Good morning and welcome to what I can only describe as a beautiful sunny Saturday morning. It's Saturday the 24th of April today and it's around 7am and I'm going to make a move. You see here there's still frost on the solar panels and on parts of the roof of the boat. I have Atherston locks about 300 yards in front of me. I'm going to go to the refuge disposal first, get rid of the rubbish, fill it with water, and then go on down the locks. So, probably by the time I start the locks, we'll be around about 8 a.m. So, let's start her up and let's make a move.
right, here goes. You may be wondering here what I'm looking at. Well, this is what I'm looking at. like a nice bit of Shropshire Blue. Well we have the lock straight in front of us here. I'm going to be pulling over to the left hand side to the facilities point before we go down the lock. No boats can actually pass me here on the wharf uh, from the facilities point, so I should stay here quite stable. I'm going to go and set the lock where I'm sat on the water point. Just point this pulling over off of here without going straight into the lock. So here goes. in the left hand panel here as we're looking at the picture. Once that's opened, and they're going to cross the lock and go and open up the right hand panel. You can see I've still got my coat on or my padded fleece. Down to just to double check that there was no boats coming up and that to make sure that the bottom paddles are closed properly as well. Now to wait for the lock to fill. Might as well take a seat. Right, the lock's just about full. There was a time lapse there, by the way. Let's close this paddle down. Open the lock gate. I find this the easiest way to open lock gates. If you can sit on them, and just walk backwards. to walk back over the bottom lock gates, back up around the lock and come and close the other paddle.
Right, that's the lock all set for me. All I've got to do now is finish filling up the water and make a move. Boat's all filled up with water now. So, time to just push the front off slightly, jump back on the back and move the boat into the lock. Down. Just coming on to the third lock now. This really is a beautiful set of locks. I really love coming down these locks. The setting is absolutely beautiful. Coming down through these trees. Three down, eight to go. Now I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure years ago this used to be a pub here. I might be wrong. I seem to recall it being a pub years ago when I came down through here. This brings me to the end of the Atherston flight and the end of this video. This is the last lock coming down the flight and it's now approaching 2 o'clock in the afternoon and it's time for me to get some lunch. I'm going to come out of this lock and more up ASAP. I hope you enjoyed it. You may have noticed that I did it slightly differently to some of my videos. Please comment and let me know what you think. And if you didn't like it, let me know also. I'd like to thank, of course, all my Patreon and PayPal supporters, everybody that watches it, and everybody who subscribes. That just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.